Why is Kyle Pounce so interesting? Why is he a popular YouTuber? Why does he have 3000 subscribers? I know the answer and that is um, that Kyle Pounce is living an alternative lifestyle. That's very entertaining. <clears throat> so, he's living the life you're not supposed to live uh, at his age. That is, um, when you're 40 years old, uh, society expects you to live in your own apartment. Uh, people expect you to have a job, pay your rent, uh, have a family, go to work early in the morning and return home in the evening, uh, provide a good life for your family, for your children. <clears throat> but Kyle Pounds has chosen uh, not to do this. He is, um, is living with his mother, although he's 40 years old. And that's considered to be a very, a very odd thing to do. So that uh, living with your mom when you're 40 years old, uh, living in her apartment. Secondly, uh, that uh, you don't have a job, a regular job. Uh, although he gets paid a little bit uh, by AdSense, his Google Ads that he has on his uh, YouTube videos. I also have Google AdSense uh, on one on my other channels and. Um, that's not uh, that very well paid. I don't know how much Kyle Pounds uh, gets, but I get in about 200, maybe $200 a year or something like that. Maybe he gets more money than that because he's more popular than I am. Kyle Pounds uh, also uses recreational drugs, of living with his mom using recreational drugs and he has the this odd project his timeline uh, somewhat incomprehensible um, uh, academical work uh, typing uh, years of history uh, on his uh, uh, web page that is also a very alternative hobby most people, people, they like to play tennis, uh, soccer, things like that. But he is uh, much more into the, this uh, history thing. I also like history, by the way. Uh, then what? What more alternative stuff is to be found in the life of Kyle Pounds? You know the the thing that he's uh, he goes to bed very late at in the evening, and sometimes he even stays up all night to uh, do some work on his timeline. That's alternative way of living. So he's yawning all the time because he does not get enough sleep. Uh, bicycling that's not that alternative. That's. Uh, quite common hobby um, among ordinary folks, bicycling. Um, that's okay. Um, uh, let's see. What the, what uh, what else? You know, the thing that he, he is always um, talking about things. Uh, he has plans, but for some reason he postpones his plans. Uh, his plans are not coming, not becoming real. Like the thing he has talked about, becoming a clerk, um, <clears throat> I mean working at the supermarket, a cashier. He's He has applied for those type of jobs, a couple of those. Uh, he's been talking about that. Um, I can't imagine him sitting at the cash register uh, and the customer comes up, gives him 
the, the money uh, wants to pay for for the, the 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 item that he has bought the customer and then you have to be uh, give him the correct change as a cashier and sometimes uh, you have to calculate you know the change very quickly otherwise you wouldn't give not give the, the right uh, amount of money back to the customer so that's a tricky th part of the job and if you <coughs> have uh, used the, 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 the cannabis from an early age on as a teenager started out doing this uh, smoking the weed uh, you know the, the process of the brain uh, is slowing down so you know doing the these type of quick calculations under stress that could be hard hard time for Kyle Pounds to do that so I, I don't know whether he's going to be a very successful cashier or not maybe he, he should uh, come up with some other idea about what type of job to look for especially like a truck driver probably easier for him because does not not that demanding you just drive and you can uh, focus on other things you know while you're driving could be a little bit absent-minded it's not not a, a problem and um, so uh, you know I I think uh, he is an uh, interesting character and uh, talking he's talking about various topics like the, the, the most recent uh, thing that he talked about was Scientology and Scientology is as you all know a vicious cult it's not a religion stay away from Scientology um, be a Christian or a Buddhist but not, not a Scientologist because all they do is um, they try to trick people deceive people with their e-meters you, you have your e-meter they put a current in, through your body so you're supposed to um, uh, reveal your inner thoughts and you should feel guilty about yourself so you buy these courses and uh, I think it's um, it's bogus um, it's a scheme um, and I, I didn't have the time to watch uh, Kai Pounds' entire video about Scientology, two-hour video. I think he, I think he needs to to talk about something else, uh, some other interesting. Uh, keep the videos shorter. Uh, two hours way long. Way, they are way too long to watch. I don't have the patience to watch a two-hour video about Scientology by Kyle Pounds. I, I want him to um, make short uploads. He's, you know, living in uh, his apartment videos. Oh, get back. He should get back into his van. Although his van is parked next to his apartment, he, he could just go into his van and sit there and make a video pretending to be on the road uh, for um, for a change uh, so that's it for today stay tuned for more Kyle Pounds update on Buco One YouTube channel for all Kyle Pounds fans all over the world interesting to know my opinion about the man